Do you analyze the asset number of petroleum products by potentiometric titration? Do you have issues with the reproducibility of your results? My name is Julian Opel. In this first part of this tutorial, I will give you four tips focusing on the cleaning of the electrode. This will help you to improve the accuracy and reproducibility of your results. Your results depend very much on your electrode and how you handle it. Correct cleaning of your electrode is very important. So let's have a look at the most important points regarding cleaning. So here is my first tip. For proper cleaning, dip rinse your electrode. Rinsing with a wash bottle is usually not enough to remove the sample. Dip rinsing means immerse your electrode in a beaker filled with solvent and keep stirring for one to three minutes. After this, do not forget to place the glass membrane and the glass membrane only in deionized water to recondition it. Make sure that conditioning time is long enough. In my first tip, I said make sure that the rinsing time is long enough. But how do you know if your rinsing time is sufficient? The answer is my tip number two. Have a look at the overlay titration curves. Here you can see an acid number determination of used engine oil where the electrode was not sufficiently clean between the determinations. If you look at the equivalence points, you see them shifting, which is an indication for insufficient cleaning. Also look at the start potential. It should always be the same for the same sample. If not, your cleaning is not good enough. However, Cleaning just your electrode after each titration is not enough. You should also clean the diaphragm of your electrode after each titration series. This is my tip number three. To clean the diaphragm, open the flexible sleeve to release some electrolyte. With a sensor like the Metrum Solvotrode EasyClean, this couldn't be easier. Just push the electrode head. The diaphragm opens and electrolyte can flow out. If you cannot open the diaphragm easily, do not use force. Instead, place the electrode into a beaker filled with hot water. Hot water from a warm water tap is enough. Then you will be able to open the diaphragm after a short while. Finally, is there a way to make sure your electrode enjoys a long life? Yes, there is. And this is my tip number four. Clean your electrode thoroughly at regular intervals. How often you should do this depends on the type and number of samples you analyzed. Click on the link to watch a video that shows you step by step how this is done. With these four simple tips, you will achieve better results for asset number determinations. If you wish to learn more on how to improve your asset number results, check out my second video on this topic. You can find all additional help videos mentioned in this tutorial in the video description below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please let me know and feel free to share it.